Hello, I'm Floyd Cunningham. The busy street scene you just saw is typical of the life in front of the campus of APNTS. But the street was not always that busy. It certainly was not when I arrived in 1983. In 1979, the Church of the Nazarene purchased a site in Tai Tai Rizal, Philippines. Formerly, it was an orphanage. The location consisted of 10 acres with 22 wooden frame buildings, including what we now know as Wooten Chapel. The proximity of the location to Manila was a deciding factor. Leaders hoped that the urban setting would provide models for evangelism for the cities of Asia and the Pacific. This was the seed of what would become today's thriving seminary. The seed began to grow as, beginning in 1980, Nazarene Theological Seminary began extension classes taught by several NTS professors, as well as by Dr. Angelito Agbuya, pastor of the Angeles City Church of the Nazarene. Students represented various countries. Owens Hall was the first building built after the Church of the Nazarene purchased this property, and it was already for us when we started classes in November 1983. On the first floor were offices and the central office, lecture hall, and on the second floor were classrooms and our library. Classes began on November 14, 1983. The faculty included Dr. Owens, Dr. Agbuya, Dr. and Mrs. Ronald Beach, longtime missionaries in the Philippines, and myself. Dr. Beach served as the first academic dean and registrar. The school offered the Master of Divinity and Master of Religious Education degrees. The seminary was formally dedicated and the faculty installed on January 15, 1984. In April 1984, Dr. E. Lebron Fairbanks was elected president of the seminary. Dr. Fairbanks worked toward government recognition and accreditation, and on June 13, 1988, the seminary received full recognition from the Philippine government. Accreditation for degree programs was also granted by the Asia Theological Association in 1988 and by the Association for Theological Education in Southeast Asia in 1991. For the library, Dr. Fairbanks secured important collections centering in Wesleyan and Holiness studies. At the same time, extensive renovation and building programs on campus continued. Upon his election as president of Mount Vernon Nazarene University in 1989, Dr. Fairbanks resigned as president. Dr. John Nielsen, vice president of Eastern Nazarene College, was elected president of APNTS and served from 1990 to 2001. Dr. Nielsen taught in the area of pastoral ministry and Mrs. Janice Nielsen taught Christian education. Wooten Chapel was already here when APNTS inherited this property from Children's Garden, but Dr. John Nielsen wanted to improve the worship of APNTS, and he spent a lot of effort in making sure that our worship was truly meaningful. Let's go in. There are many meaningful times in this chapel, so many chapel services, so many times around this altar praying. Dr. Nielsen wanted to build here at APNTS a Christ culture that transcended all the cultures. He also initiated culture days for each group of students to present something of relevance about their own culture. The first students arrived from Thailand, Papua New Guinea, Bangladesh, South Africa, and Myanmar. Mrs. Nielsen began kids clubs for children on campus on Saturday mornings. Small covenant groups began, 
Dr. Nielsen worked with the region to establish the Fairbanks Media Center. In conjunction with this, APNTS began the Master of Arts program in Christian Communication. The Mediator, the official journal of the school, began publication in 1996. In January 2003, the Board of Trustees chose as president Dr. Hitoshi Paul Fukue, who had been serving on the faculty since 2001, teaching Christian ethics, sociology of religion, and preaching. Before coming to APNTS, Dr. Fukui had served as a pastor in Japan and as president of Japan Christian Junior College. Mrs. Mitsuko Fukui taught interpersonal and intercultural communication. In May 2007, Dr. Fukui resigned in order to reassume pastoral ministry in Japan. In April 2003, APNTS dedicated a major new building on campus, the Nielsen Center for Education and Evangelism. When the building opened, only the first floor was ready for occupancy. It included our central offices and the Philippine Micronesia Field Office. The beautiful Cobb Worship Center on the second floor of the NCE building is where we have chapels today. The awesome Children's Center is on the mezzanine of the NCE building. On the third floor of the NCE building is the beautiful Sioux Fox Library. Formerly, the library was on the second floor of the Owens building. The library has always been the very center of APNTS. Our second president, LeBron Fairbanks, made sure that we had an important collection of Wesley. The fourth floor of the NCE building was finished through the very generous donations of the Korea Churches of the Nazarene. It includes our PhD department and also includes the Donald Owens School of World Mission. In June 2008, the APNTS Board of Trustees elected me the fifth president of APNTS. We opened extension programs beginning with Papua New Guinea. With the help of Korean donors, we constructed the New Life Volunteer Mission Center and nearly completed each of the floors of the Nielsen Center for Education and Evangelism. We started the Holistic Child Development Program at APNTS with Dr. Nativity Patalier as head. The PhD program began in November 2009 in partnership with Asia Graduate School of Theology and was granted CHED recognition in January 2012. Meanwhile, students arrived from such countries as Colombia, Ethiopia, Kenya, Nigeria, Peru, and Russia. We expanded ministries to the nearby community and built partnerships with the Korea Church of the Nazarene and other church, parachurch, government, and non-government bodies. In 2009, there was this incredibly strong typhoon called Andoy. It came right through this part of Tai Tai. The rains came down so fast, the floods came up so quickly that the squatter community was soon wiped out. By that time, we had made strong relationships, good relationships with the Creek community. We were neighbors to them, and they knew that they were welcome in this place. They came over the walls. We found clean clothes for them. We boiled rice for them. We found a place for them to stay overnight. And for those three days and three nights that we were together, we were truly one Creek community, one community of God in this place. Dr. Im Sung An, recently president of Korea Nazarene University, was installed as the sixth president of APNTS in January 2014. President Im emphasized the value of holistically preparing students for ministry. He initiated the BEST program, B-E-S-T, producing graduates who have mastered the Bible, who are responsible to the ecclesial community, who are socially minded, and who are passionate 
about proceeding toward the global mission of Christ. Im Sung An resigned as president in January 2016 to return to the presidency of Korea Nazarene University. In 2015, students began a ministry with street kids who lived under a nearby bridge. Every weekend, the children were fed, their clothes were washed, and they showered. Students volunteered to teach the children and to lead in singing and learning about the love of God. In August 2016, the Board of Trustees elected Dr. Bruce Oldham as president. Coming to APNTS, Dr. Oldham had had 25 years of experience in Nazarene higher education. His wife, Dr. Peggy Oldham, joined the faculty in the area of Christian leadership. Meanwhile, in 2016, APNTS received government permission to offer the PhD in Transformational Learning and also the PhD in Transformational Development. In 2017, APNTS received permission to offer the Doctor of Ministry and the Master of Arts in Intercultural Studies. Not long after Dr. Oldham arrived, major structural problems were discovered in the dining hall. The structure needed to be rebuilt. There was no budget. Much prayer was raised and we saw God's faithfulness expressed through alabaster offerings of the Church of the Nazarene. It took longer than expected, but the new building, which includes a student center upstairs, was finished in the summer of 2018. In the 35-year history of APNTS, we have experienced times that stretched our faith, even times of great discouragement. We have also experienced great joy and celebration as we have watched God bring us through every challenge and take us to ever greater heights. More than 600 graduates of APNTS have gone to ministries around the world. They serve as pastors and teachers and missionaries. They're involved in many other forms of ministry. The places where they serve today include Australia, Cambodia, Canada, China, Hong Kong, India, Indonesia, Japan, Korea, Mongolia, Myanmar, Nepal, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, Samoa, Taiwan, Thailand, United States, and Zimbabwe. Students representing approximately 40 different denominations have received an education at APNTS. Asia Pacific Nazarene Theological Seminary was never just an institution of the Church of the Nazarene. It has always been a gift of our church to the wider church. It is a place that exists by the grace of God and for His glory to the building of His kingdom. As our mission statement declares, we are here to prepare men and women for Christ-like leadership and excellence in ministries. We pray that God will continue to use APNTS to accomplish that goal for many, many decades to come.